Okay, we're live now. Oh, we're not live, but I'm recording. So, so, what's your name and why are you here and what do these strange costumes represent? My name is Heather Panner. Um, I'm here uh, embodying the futuristic ghost of a handmaid, which uh, is a character from Margaret Atwood's book, The Handmaid's Tale. And these handmaids in the book were uh, subjected to uh, being basically slaves or breeders and had no reproductive rights, no civil rights. And um, this has become kind of a symbol of what could happen if we lose our constitutional right of Roe versus Roe Wade and we lose our reproductive freedoms. So was Margaret Atwood's book set in the United States? So Yes it was. She was a Canadian but she wrote about uh, the totalitarian takeover of the United States. Oh, okay. All right. And what what did the handmaidens do? I mean, what were they? They were slaves basically. And yeah. who were they captured by? I mean, what was the... Uh, they, were, they were sequestered by the state to be breeders. Okay. And, we're... and they were not allowed to marry, or, and they basically were slaves of the state, but they're, they're, the handmaids, there were different roles, but the handmaids themselves were... Uh, sequestered to have yeah. children and how does how does that relate to the Barrett uh, hearings that are going right now in Washington DC well uh, the nominee Amy Coney Barrett uh, has a history of legal writing about uh, abortion not being uh, abortion as not being totally legal because it takes away life <laughs> yeah and uh, so she's a constitutionalist but she's written a lot about uh, trying to um, argue that uh, abortion should be a crime yeah yeah and so she does have she is, has a personal history of that in her you know, as, as her brand of Catholicism, she's a right to life her. But I don't think that's really the issue. The issue is, you know, why they chose her and why Trump chose her at this last minute. 
they are basically stacking the court to have the most conservative court in U.S. history. Right, and and she's only been a judge for a couple of years. Right. So she really d is a neophyte. Yeah. And uh, well, the other thing that concerns me about her is she has this 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 conservative court that they're stacking is also a corporate court, and that you know. The, or the Roberts Court that overturned, you know, Citizens United, so that uh, corporations are seen as people over the environment and over public health and over individuals. And that very much concerns me regarding Amy Coney Barrett because she has absolutely no legal history or knowledge about environmental law. Right, right, yeah. 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 All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Thank you for being here.